Now this illustration deals with applying the standard calculation. Load 1 consists of the lighting loads. And basically, as you see in the illustration, left hand side, uh, top side, the lighting loads consist of the general lighting load, show window loads, track lighting loads, low voltage lighting loads, outside lighting loads, and the sign uh, lighting loads. Now notice your sections are all listed there so that you can review them and uh, get more information concerning these loads. And these loads are usually uh, calculated at non-continuous duty, continuous duty. Where non-continuous duty is applied, then in some cases, you know, maybe uh, a demand might be applied. Now, the second uh, load would uh, deal with the receptacle loads. The receptacle loads are taken at 180 VA per outlet to you load a 20 or 15 amp circuit up, for example. And then uh, these receptacle outlets can be placed wherever it's convenient for the equipment to be cord and plug connected to such outlets. Now, load 3 is your special appliance loads. Of course, in 220.14a, we would find the special appliance loads mentioned there. And of course, Article 422 would deal with uh, appliance loads as well as other articles of the code, which would have to be chosen based upon uh, the type of appliance that you're dealing with. Load number four, now we divide the compressor loads uh, into their own group of loads. And we take those loads at 100%. Now, uh, load uh, five would deal with motor loads. And we also take those motor loads at uh, 100% of the uh, full load current rating, which 430.6a of the code refers you to your table, uh, say 430.250, based upon voltage and horsepower of the motor. Uh, you would uh, pick up the full load current ratings for three-phase motors. And sing if you had single-phase motors, naturally you refer to table 430.248. Now, notice that 430.6A2 uh, deals with nameplate rating, and you'd use that nameplate rating to size overloads when we get deeper into the uh, presentation. Now, uh, dealing with load 6, you choose the largest between the heat or the uh, air conditioning load. And, of course, you know you drop the smaller load uh, in accordance with uh, 220.60, uh, uh, 220.51, uh, and so forth. Now, the uh, seventh load is the largest motor load. And notice that largest motor could be, in some cases, from load number three, load number four, uh, or load number five. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. And most of the time, now that's where you would uh, choose the largest motor, then you would take 25% of that uh, and add that to the total load if you were sizing the service. But for the sake of this test taken made easy workbook, we're breaking each one of these loads down to individual loads instead of you having to add all the loads together. And as I have pointed out in uh, my workbook, uh, most of these uh, testing agencies now are going more to figuring individual loads uh, and see if you know how to use your code book and, and calculate such loads like maybe the conductors uh, supplying an air conditioner the overcurrent device, uh, lay on the air conditioner to start and run. Uh, and the same with motors and other types of loads. Now, uh, when you deal uh, using the code, for example, uh, to determine where you would find the percentages that you would use to size the uh, load and VA or amps to uh, select conductors, look at uh, your table 210.3 and 220.3. If you're sizing the overcurrent device to allow the motor to start and run, you will notice in uh, 240.4G that all of those loads that require the overcurrent device to be sized greater than 125% of the load in the conductors uh, is listed, such as motors, air conditioners, welders, and so forth. So it's pretty easy now for you to, uh, as a test taker, 
to go to 210.3, you know all about your branch circuit, maybe feeding the uh, particular uh, motor or uh, air conditioner or welder or whatever, uh, and then go to table 240, uh, excuse me, 240.4G. Now, if uh, your load is not listed in that table, then, you know, it's usually considered uh, you can't size that overcurrent device greater than 125% of the load uh, to size your conductors and uh, the uh, overcurrent device to supply power to these loads. Now, that's just kind of a rough breakdown uh, of applying the standard calculation and uh, what type of loads uh, are involved. So read carefully your figure 2-1 and the text along with the NEC section and uh, I think it will prepare you well for what we're going to go into with the upcoming illustrations.